Hello, I'm Officer King, and I'm the recruiter with the Fayetteville Police Department, and I want to welcome you to our applicant orientation. Topics that we will be covering today will include information about our department, salary, application and hiring process, disqualifiers, and what to expect in VLET. Any questions that you may have throughout the presentation can be sent to me via email or feel free to give me a call. To begin, I want to cover our vision and mission statement. So the vision is to engage and enhance the relationship with the community in an effort to increase diversity within the Fayetteville Police Department. And our mission is to educate the community on the hiring process, involve the community in our recruitment efforts, and employ the best people to become sworn members of the Fayetteville Police Department. The department is made up of three districts. We have Campbellton District, which is located downtown and is the main police department, Central District, which is on Sycamore Dairy Road, and Cross Creek District, which is on Rafer Road. Central and Cross Creek districts are our substations. Officers work a modified DuPont schedule, which consists of 12-hour shifts that alternate every other weekend. For example, one week we work Wednesday and Thursday, the next week we work Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Once you have been hired, the process is broken into three phases. Phase one consists of basic law enforcement training, which is 25 weeks long and followed by a 300 question state exam. Once you graduate from the academy, you will be assigned to field training, which will be 10 to 12 weeks long. During field training, you will rotate between days and nights throughout the three districts. You will be assigned a field training officer during these rotations who will assist you in learning how to become a law enforcement officer. Once you complete your training, you will sit before an independent board where the members will gauge whether you are fit to proceed to phase three. Upon completion of your panel interview, you will then be released to solo patrol. You will then be assigned to your permanent shift and squad based on the needs of the department. You will be eligible to apply for any specialized unit one year after you are released from the field training program. We are currently offering a veteran sign-on bonus. To qualify for this bonus, you must have a valid DD-214 regardless of the separation status. If you are a lateral with the state of North Carolina or transferring from out of state and have not been separated from your agency for more than three years, you would qualify for a $10,000 sign-on bonus. The commitment for each of these bonuses is three years from your date of hire. If you are relocating to the Fayetteville area, then you will be eligible for the relocation reimbursement up to $5,000 depending on the distance. This is our current step plan showing you our starting pay of $43,000 and the max pay of $64,500. Ideally, each year you should see an increase in your salary as follows at the discretion of the city. However, this step plan is not intended to represent your years of service. Let's take you through the steps of filling out the application. First, you're going to want to access our website from a computer. Our website is joinfaypd.com. On the left-hand side, the second tab will be for the application. If you access the website on a mobile device, then you'll be able to see the majority of the information by scrolling down. If you want to access any additional information, then you'll need to click on the Jump to Subpage menu. This will bring up a list of all the menus associated with the recruiting website. Most importantly, when filling out the application, be sure to print out the authorization to release form, which can be found in the application description on the government site. This document is also the third tab under the side menu, as well as the bottom of the main page. If you are viewing the website on a mobile platform, the authorization to release form can be found at the bottom of the main page. This form must be printed out and taken to a notary to be signed and stamped. If you have questions in regards on how to find a notary, you can Google notary near me, which will show you the nearest notary to your current location. This form will be required in order to submit your application. You will not be able to proceed to the next step without this form. Once you pass our written exam, we will go straight into the POPAT, which is the Police Officer Physical Abilities Test. There's a video demonstrating the modified POPAT on our website. After passing the physical exam, we will get you scheduled to attend a panel interview the following week. To prepare for the interview, be sure to start gathering the following documents and come dressed in professional business attire. After you pass the panel interview, you will be given a conditional offer of employment. Please keep in mind that this does not guarantee employment. At this step in the process, the in-depth background investigation will begin and will delve into all aspects of your life. Be sure to have five solid references with valid addresses, phone numbers, and emails. We will then schedule you for a truth verification examination, which is called the CVSA. 
the CVSA is a computer voice stress analysis. As the background investigation proceeds, we will require you to complete a psychological and physical examination. All testing costs will be covered by the department. The final step in the hiring process will consist of a chief's interview. You will meet the chief where the final hiring decision will be made. Following this interview, you will be given a hiring date and the firm offer of employment will come from the City of Fayetteville's Human Resource Department. While you're filling out the application, you're going to be answering numerous questions regarding any history of traffic offenses, drug usage, criminal history, and any contact with law enforcement in general. You must be completely honest and forthcoming when answering those types of questions. You're going to list all traffic offenses you have received since you began driving. This is going to include any verbal and written warnings as well as any citations. You can find a list of your driving history by going on the Department of Motor Vehicles website for the corresponding state in which you hold a driver's license. You must list all drugs that you have used throughout your lifetime on the application as follows. If you have had any contact with law enforcement throughout your lifetime as a victim, witness, reporting party, or suspect, that must be disclosed on the application as shown in the example. This also includes any charges that may have been expunged from your criminal record as well. If you come across a question that may not apply to you, please put NA in the box to avoid leaving blanks on the application. There are three ways of being hired with our agency. Laterals, inexperienced BLEG graduates, and inexperienced applicants are all subject to the same hiring process. These are a list of disqualifiers that would make you ineligible for hire with our department. You cannot have smoked marijuana within the last 12 months from the time you put in the application. Any Schedule 1, 2, or 3 drugs are on a 5 to 10 year gap from your last usage on a case-by-case -case basis. In terms of any criminal charges, the following timeframes are as follows. If you have any concerns that your past criminal history might disqualify you in our process, feel free to reach out to me directly at the end of this briefing. The Academy is challenging in three ways, academically, physically, and emotionally. You will be learning a lot of information in a short amount of time and tested weekly on the learning material. You will be conducting physical fitness daily and this process can be an emotional challenge for some people. With the right mindset and support system, success is easily attainable. If you have children, you will need a dependable family care plan to ensure you can remain 100% focused on this process. You will not be allowed any days off while you are attending the academy or field training because you will need to complete the required amount of hours to become certified by the state of North Carolina. By the time you are hired, make sure your personal vehicle is in compliance with North Carolina state laws. The academy is not a live-in. You will be going home every night. You will have every weekend off and all federal holidays off while you are in the academy. Expect to be at the academy from 06 until 1800 Monday through Friday. We do offer education incentives that are applied to your base salary upon completion of graduation. We are currently offering $1,500 for your associate's degree and $3,000 for your bachelor's degree. We also have a two-year apprenticeship program. Once you are attending the academy, you are eligible to use your GI Bill as extra income for two years. The VA recognizes the academy, the field training program, and your first year as an officer as full-time education where you will be able to collect BAH for your first two years of employment. Upon completion of field training, you will be eligible to receive a take-home car based on fleet availability as long as you live in Cumberland County or 19 miles from the center of the city. Keep in mind, throughout this hiring process, email will be the primary method of communication. Ensure that you are checking your email daily for updates on your status in the hiring process. Also make sure that you have a voicemail set up on the phone number you listed as a good point of contact for yourself. Make sure that your voicemail is equipped to receive messages in the event you are unable to answer the phone. This concludes the orientation briefing. This is just a brief overview of some of our many benefits that we offer at the Fayetteville Police Department. Thank you for joining us today. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the listed email or phone number. We look forward to meeting you in the future.